Guys, my name is Ankush Kaurav and I welcome you to Contour series. In the previous tutorial, we learned about request mapping annotation in detail. I showed you how to use it at a method level and also at a class level in your controller class. Now let's proceed and know further concepts in Spring MVC framework. In this application, what if a user enters this URL on the browser and clicks enter? It's but obvious with all the knowledge that we gained so far, the front controller is going to make a call to this method for processing the request. And how it does it? Simply by matching up the pattern of this method and the pattern of this incoming request URL. And because here both are matching, the front controller is going to make a call to this method for processing the request for this URL. Now, if I make a small change in this pattern to make it a new one, say I include country name and username also in the pattern. Now, if a user requests with this URL, the front controller would not be able to make a call to this method because patterns are different and will simply return a message to the user saying no resource is available on the server to process this URL request. The front controller can now only be able to make a call to this method if the incoming request URL looks like this. Let's run it on the server and check this out. Paste this URL here and click enter. Cool. For this request, the front controller happily invoked this method for processing the request as per our expectation. Let me know modify this url such that now i will enter the value of username instead of this hard-coded username string say i replace it with with the name gone to one if i make a request using this url what will happen will the application invoke this method for processing this request let's check it out Oops, it is sent back with an error message for not 4 means the requested resource is not available and that is but obvious because here in the URL this method is expecting username string and you are providing here gone to one string. So there is a mismatch in the pattern and that's the reason server sent there is no method or resource available to process this URL request. Now what? If I want to make a request using this URL only, that is by giving the value of username as gone to one instead of the hard coded username string in the URL path. And at the same time, I would want the front controller to invoke this method for processing this request. How would I do that? And the answer is using curly braces. If I put curly braces here, on the username string then the end user is allowed to substitute this value of username with any other value as i'm doing here by providing username value as gone to one in the url so now after this change when i'll request using this url the front controller should happily make a request to this method let's check it out click enter Cool, the application responded as per the expectation. All right, so, so far so good. Let's proceed further. What if in this method, I would want to retrieve the value of username, which is coming in the incoming request URL? How would I do that? And the answer is using path variable annotation. Let me make the changes and later I'll explain all to you in detail. So here with this annotation, what I'm telling Spring Framework, his Spring Framework, when the front controller would invoke this method, then please bind the username value which is coming in the incoming request URL with this name variable. And further in the method, I should be able to use this name variable which is having the username value. All right. 
let me make one more change over here i would delete this hello world and i would put this name variable here so now when a user would hit this url and request to this application the front controller would make a call to this method and here the path variable annotation would bind the value of username which is coming in the incoming request with the name variable and here i'm sending back the same name back to the client in the response message all right so without wasting much time let's see it on the browser cool the application responded as per the expectation when i requested using this url the front controller made a call to this method the path variable annotation binded the value of username with the name and here this method is putting this name in the response message so in the response message i got the name gone to one which i sent it in the url so if i change this name from gone to one to gone to two then i would get here hello gone to two so you change it with any name the same name you would get in the response message okay one important thing what if i want to do the same thing with country name here as i did with username what i mean by this is now user would provide the value of country name also in the url in addition to the username and here this method would retrieve both these values from the incoming request url and would send back the same values in the response message how would i do that nothing special just include country name also in the curly braces and put here one more part variable annotation for the country name variable and include country variable in the response message and we're done let's test it on the browser all right so now i'm gonna substitute the value of country name with some other value say india so now if i click enter cool so i've got here response hello gone to one you are from india so whatever values i would give here for country name and username the server would send both values in the response message back and all this is because of path variable annotation now one last concept what if you're tired of putting many path variable annotations in the method argument as i'm doing over here spring says if you put the path variable annotation on a map like this then i'll put all these path variables which you have kept here in the curly braces in this map as the name value pairs so what it means is in the method body you can simply retrieve a particular path variable by providing its name as a key to the map so here in the method nothing has changed earlier i was retrieving the value of country name and username by providing many path variable annotations in the method argument now i'm retrieving all those values using one path variable annotation on a path pairs map and here i'm retrieving the values of country name and username by providing the name country name and username to this map as a key guys there is one very important thing to know about this path variable annotation when you use it on a map like i've used here if you want to use path variable annotation like this on a map then you have to place mvc annotation driven tag here in the xml file guys in the subsequent tutorials i'll talk more on this mvc annotation driven tag and its differences with context component scan tag all right so if i test this application now then this function should happily retrieve the value of country name and username using this syntax let me test it on the browser paste this url so here i'm passing country name and username click enter cool the server responded with the message hello gone to one you are from india gone to one india so here in this tutorial we learned about path variable annotation in detail in the next tutorial i'm going to talk about how we handle get and post request 
using Spring MVC framework. And also I'm going to talk about request param annotation. Guys, thank you for liking my tutorials. Your any sort of interaction with me makes me upload more and more tutorials. So please keep them up by commenting and providing your feedback below the video or simply write to me on this ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Contour Series and I am going to catch you in my next tutorial.